Hi guys, Abhishek this side with the update on SCRP Scraper 2.0. So this video is regarding how to use the SCRP Scraper 2.0. I have added the campaign system in the plugin so that all the keywords and content structure you, uh, you use for importing the keyword to scrape the SCRP will be saved and you can use it again on different keywords. So after installing the plugin, you will get the new menu like this as uh, with the name SCRP Scraper and you need to click on add new and give it any name and here you will give the title format I am zooming in with keyword you can add anything like best or best websites anything you can add and I have a keyword list here which I have exported from Ahrefs and these are a few keywords I have added and here I am adding the content format you can create content format according to you for example you can create like are you searching for keyword this is a short code which will fetch the keyword from above list and get everything you need to know about keyword and with this short code you will get the scrape data and with FAQs shortcut you will get all the FAQs if available and with year and month shortcut you can get the current month and you can include it with the keyword I can include it also in the title and here go the SEO plugin setting for example you if you want to set up the rank map meta title you can do it like this keyword here best resources you can create it according to your need I am copying the same thing into the meta description and this is the new update uh, you can now update the URL format for the keyword for example I will just add the KW so it won't add the KW here and the best resources in the permalink so this is the new update as requested by many of you and here you can set the post type and you can set the category here I am just setting the random category these are the all the categories which you have created here in post categories all these categories will be fetched here now if you want to set the keyword as post tag you can switch it on and select the author now this is also a new feature fetch image from pixabay you need to get the pixabay api i'll show you how to get the api in next step and i am switching it on now the number of results you want i'll set it 20 you can set it according to your need here you can add the country iso code like you for usa us for india ind you can search for country code using the google search and here you can set the schedule minute gap for for the gap of how often the frequency of the post so i'll set it 15 for testing and click on publish after you publish it will save a campaign like this and the first post will be published like this and here in automation status it will show show the status of the post if the scrape data is fetched the post will be published else it will be saved in draft and the cron job in the backend will run if the data not available it will keep searching for the data for many times and if not available it will keep the post in the draft so that the empty pages won't index in the google and your site won't get the index so here you can see the post is published here is the scrape data and 
it it didn't got the FAQ, so FAQs are not posted. And here you can see the keyword is also set as tag, and you can see the permalink also. Only the keyword is in permalink, but the title is here, and our category is here. This is our content structure. So now how to get the Pixabay API? For that, just go to pixabay.com, login or sign up. I am signing up with Google account. So now I am logged in. Click on Explore and API. Scroll down. Click on Get Started, and <clears throat> you will get your API API like this. Now copy this API key and go to Automation Settings and paste it here and save the settings. Now your settings will be saved. And as you can see, it has fetched the image from Pixar API. Uh, these images uh, take some time to get loaded from the Pixar Bay and uploaded to our server. So sometime uh, if image is not found, so featured image won't be set. But if found, it will set it. It will download the image from Pixar Bay and set it as featured image with proper alt and titles. I'll show you. You can see keyword is in the post. Uh, keyword is in the image name. And one more thing. You can also manually import the keyword if you want by clicking on, clicking on import. And as you can see, it has fetched one more post with the image. And this time it has also fetched the FAQs. You can also update the content structure for all of the posts. Manually you can, if you want, you can update the content for the posts too. Uh, I think I have a plugin which is interesting the setting. Uh, you can manually set the post content by editing the post or if you want to bulk update all the post of the particular campaign. You, can, you need to go to the campaign setting and here you can update the content structure. Click on update again. Go back to the SAP scraper and click on update content. Now it will update content for all of the posts you have published. Like for example, for this post, you can see content structure is updated. So this is also a new feature in this plugin. You can also delete all the posts. As you can see, all the posts has been deleted. So that's all for this for this update. Uh, after this update is out and you will test it. Uh, after that, I will add more features like Google My Business Directory website and Amazon Affiliate feature will also come in the same plugin. So that's all for today. Hope you have got to know how to use it. See you soon.